Well, I'm just glad my red wave prediction is accurate. <laughs> Who, in how much Florida, money, how much money I was do talking you owe about Geraldo? in Florida, probably how much money 1, do you owe Geraldo? Oh, 1100. 100, I've been which adds to 1100 and the 1000 will go to charity. Oh. Many people see me as a charity case, so we'll see where that donation goes. <laughs> what, are you goes. saying you're receiving money To now? the Waters Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll pay up. And uh, Give us your take overall. So, the House is now in McCarthy's hands. Pelosi will probably go to Rome to be ambassador, and that's fine. And there'll be investigations, which is good. I was disappointed in the Senate outcome because the polls showed it was going to be 52-53. Mm -hmm. If you look at what happened, let's say, in Pennsylvania, I can't believe John Fetterman won. I can't believe it. Yeah. I honestly can't believe they voted for this guy. So abortion was critical, we know, in Pennsylvania. I did not see that it was going to be that critical. Oz was not a great candidate. He had a brutal primary. He took the summer off. And he campaigned hard at the end, but people didn't trust him. They didn't trust the guy. He wasn't from Pennsylvania. And it was fraudulent the way that Fetterman hid his condition and then skipped this debate, had a debate at the last week. By that time, they banked so many yep. early votes. Exactly. So Republicans really have to get a hold of this early vote thing. There's no Republican early vote strategy. Can t anybody tell me what that is? Republicans vote on Election Day. Democrats vote for five weeks. Yep. So there's this mass mobilization campaign that's underway in these early voting states, and Republicans are sitting it out. You know, they get souls to the polls in Philly, as they say. They're knocking on doors. They're handing in ballots. There's paper everywhere. <laughs> What's the Republican plan? I don't know, so they need to plan for that. Georgia, I'm n nervous about, because it looks like Lassalt's going to hold on in Nevada. Masters is cooked in Arizona. So it all is going to come down to Georgia runoff Once again. again. <laughs> so we're, this is about Herschel Walker. And you know why he, we're, we're, you know we're why counting on Herschel, who I yeah, like, abortions. who I like. Well, and at least they, you're admitting that he did pay for they, that. They crushed him on these abortion attacks. I mean, this is going to be another nail biter, and it makes me very nervous. So. You also have good races run by Ron Johnson. He's in there. He's going to investigate the hell out of the Biden crime family. Biden was very against his election. That's good. But there was never a shot, apparently, in New Hampshire. I mean, that guy got railroaded. And if you put up a guy in, in, who's running for governor in Pennsylvania who just got slaughtered, I mean, these things have down-ballot consequences. That hurts Oz. It hurts the Republican House candidates. Zeldin did great. Considering this is a deep blue state, Kathy Hochul had help from every Democrat, crooked, Bill, Obama, Kamala. Everybody came in to save her, and she barely held on, but Zeldin had coattails and got a bunch of House Republicans in there. Yep. And it looks like a bunch more House Republicans are going to come in through the West Coast. You think this is going to be a nail biter? They're going to have the House. It's not going to be the biggest margin of all time. It's going to be bigger than they say it is right now. Yep. But this was a red wave if you're looking at in Florida, Stacey's no longer with us. She's going to go back to writing erotic novels. <laughs> Abbott won. Beto, bye-bye. Find another office to run. I There's just not the hatred for Joe Biden that there is for Barack Obama and for the Clintons. There's not a hate Biden vote that's out there. You know when you go with Trump's on the ballot, there's that hate Trump Democrat vote? People just don't feel the same passion against the guy that they also Maybe feel he's just for a other really people. Nice guy. And we have a problem demographically. Single women are voting for Democrats by 30 points. 37. 37 points. Yeah. And in urban America, they're cleaning our clocks in the cities. Cleaning our clocks. I'm not saying anything nefarious is going on, but they are cleaning our clocks in the cities, and we're giving it away. And the fact that these youth voters are coming in so strong on an off year is very concerning. It looks like they've been brainwashed. This new generation is totally brainwashed because a lot of these single women are, vote 37 spreads for Democrats are teaching all of our younger generation in these schools and they're polluting their minds and then they grow up and then they're in their 20s and then they vote for leftists. Where are we? We are We are coming to you for your reactions of anything you I don't want know. to say. I, I, I can't get wrapped up in this. I don't see what the problem is. I didn't need a red wave. I implored people to be realistic. What you're seeing right here is the Democrats are thrilled because their expectations were disastrous, and the Republicans are a bit bummed because their expectations were too high.
right? That's what you're seeing. Everybody got a little pleased. Everybody got a little disappointed. So I'm, ha I'm happy that Republicans flipped some seats. I'm happy about DeSantis. I'm happy about Abbott. I'm bummed about, I'm bummed about Hochul. I'm also happy that Zeldin put crime front and center. That helped push New York to the right. You can't always get what you want, but you might get what you need, to quote Air Supply. Oh, thank Air you. Supply. Yeah, and how, I mean, the fact is... Jagger. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, the point is this. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters is the House. And a win is a win. It doesn't have to be a red wave in the House. It could be a narrow win. But if you want the investigations, if you want your hands on the purse strings, you know, if you yeah. want National Greg Gutfeld Day, got, yeah. you got to have the House. You got to have the House. The Senate <laughs> is less important, although it would have been cool. But the thing is, this is what it is. This is not the end of democracy. That's the funny thing about this. People were, 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 we, were whipped up into a fervor that the democracy was coming and blah, blah, mm -hmm. debate was ending. And what it is is people got, people got disappointed. They got pleased. It's not so bad. You, now you got a balance of power. Now you got, you got Biden in the White House. You got the Republicans on the purse strings. That's good. There's also that the, the Democrats spent a lot of time and money saying that all of these Republicans, if they lost, they wouldn't accept the results. Yes. That has not been yeah. true. And that that, you know, the lesson for Fetterman is that, you know what, people care less about the actual functioning of a candidate than whether they can win. And so they'll, you could put, as Nancy Pelosi once said, a glass of water. Mm. Remember when yes, AOC, you, you can mm. run a glass of water, it's going to win. The, and that's yeah, basically it. Republicans have to run perfect candidates. Yes. They can run water glasses. Well, Herschel's not got perfect. It. Okay. It's better they than want mediocre. me to play this sound, and they're going to fire me. This is from <laughs> President Biden uh, at the White House. This was his press conference. This is what he said about 2024, which is our next election. Watch. The Democratic Party outperformed anything anyone expected and did better than any uh, off-year presidency since John Kennedy is one that gives everybody like, whoo, sigh of relief that the mega Republicans are not taking over the government again, et cetera. And uh, so uh, my judgment of running when I announce, if I now my intention is that I run again, but I'm a great respecter of fate, and uh, this is ultimately a family decision. Okay. Uh, okay, so what does it mean, Judge? The amazing part of it is that presidents who have suffered more crushing midterms have gone on to win a second term. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden today is lucid. He's kind of upbeat. He seems pretty happy. He's ready to roll again. So that's what came out of the midterms. Forget the red wave, the red tide, whatever it was. It doesn't matter at this point. Joe Biden is running again. And I got to say one more thing. The thing that disappoints me is that you've got Fetterman, where people are voting September 19th. They don't even see whether he's capable of speaking until the yep. 25th. Uh, Katie Hobbs will not debate Carrie Lake, and she can barely put a sentence together. And she's very close to Carrie Lake now, although who knows who's counting in Arizona. I mean, I don't know if, I'm not going to say it, if, if people who can't read are, are counting. And then the other thing is Joe Biden was in the basement. He didn't come out. So the more you hide, the more you don't debate, the more you delay, you're going to win. It doesn't matter. you have the media on your side if you're a Democrat. Yeah. That's why. I agree. Do you want to talk about Biden 2024 for a moment? Well, it looks like he's going to run after he talks it over with Jill. And it looks like Trump is going to run because he's going to announce next week. So it looks like it's a rematch. And in this environment, it looks tough for Donald Trump. If you look at what happened last night, mm. some of his candidates did not do well. And I think a lot of people are thinking, you know, he put together this massive war chest, didn't spend the kind of money that a lot of people had hoped he'd spend. And, you know, it's going to bring out the crazies on the left. I mean, I, I love Trump. I want him to run. I, I think he's a great candidate. I loved him as president. He brings out such insanity on the left. They will walk <laughs> over hot coals to vote against Donald Trump. But then you have Joe Biden, who's just like this like guy. He's like falling asleep up there. He doesn't inspire the passion from the right that you'd expect I yeah. mean, I can't stand the guy. I think he's destroying the country on the border, on the dollar, mm. everything. But more Democrats than were expected came out to vote. But right. And that is abortion. That is incredible amount of funding they threw let at these to, candidates. Let me go to Greg and, and get Jesse. That's a terrible get economy. Jessica at the last minute. Because one of the things that would be different if Joe Biden runs this time is that COVID, we hope, <laughs> won't be back. And he would have to be out on the campaign trail.
No, they find another. No, that, there'd be another uh, another strain Excuse of COVID. <laughs> yeah, it'd be COVID 2023, <laughs> and when that and then he'll be he'll be in a, hermetically sealed, probably in a sarcophagus. Yes, mm-hmm. how's that for a nice word? word? How's that for a word? Or I don't know. I, I I don't buy any of this. Two years. That's a long time. Yeah. We've watched him degrade over periods of months, and then he comes back, and yeah. he's lucid, and he's not. And also, it's two years. It's a long time for the Republicans, too. You know, we talk about Trump. Trump, he, I, I gave him 80 percent that he's going to run. But I well, also think But I also think he's that DeSantis, running. I mean, DeSantis is right now the guy that's his, his – he's a different rival than the others because he's a, he's a, he's a strong governor who just whipped Charlie Crist. Yeah. Right, but he could get destroyed in a primary with Trump, brutalized, annihilated. We, how so? Verbally. Yeah, but does that work? And I think if you look at the voters, the voters in these primary states in the South – in, in critical battleground states, we'll vote for Trump over Ron DeSantis. No mm. question. Okay, what about the Democrats? Are they comfortable with Joe Biden running in 2024? Based on last night's results, I would say yes overall. But what was really exciting to me is that you actually saw, and I get asked this a lot, where's your bench? Well, my bench, the Democrats' bench, was winning all over the country. Gretchen Whitmer, we're going to talk about what happened in Florida in That's a couple your blocks. Bench. <laughs> what? I mean, she did win, but she's no, no bench. No, she won by the same margins as Ron DeSantis. Josh Shapiro. No, she didn't. Is, no, she didn't. Eight points. Right? Eight, Eight points. Point. Yeah. DeSantis she won by won 20. Yeah, DeSantis sorry. was higher. Yeah. Okay. I take it back. Okay. It was I'll, about like Kemp. It was about like Kemp. Was, uh, sorry. Well, then I'll take my bet back. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Don't be Doesn't work, doesn't work that sorry. way. Sorry. Uh, Josh Shapiro, who is an incredible yeah. candidate yeah. out of Pennsylvania. Jared Polis in Colorado. And Tim Ryan, who lost, but really showed people a path of how you can campaign yeah. in a state like Ohio. I mean, he's not, obviously, Sherrod Brown is special on another level. And <laughs> these people are, are going to be around. And they're good. very appealing. Well, you say good. They've been successful. Some, but I think that you saw last night as well. There were a, a pretty impressive bunch of young Republicans who won as well. Yes. And you, you haven't really heard their names yet, uh, but you will get to know them. Uh, some of them will be the first, you know, that we've had some g- good diversity. You know, for example, the, the, amount, the number of women that have uh, won. There was also the yeah, one that's... race down on, on the border uh, that was able to be won by one of the Latina candidates that Kevin McCarthy had recruited. So... There are, there are some bright spots and some younger people that are running on both sides, and that is not a bad thing if you're trying to build a bench. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.